the video your girl is back again with another vlog if you know my channel hey girl hey if you're a returning subscriber i don't even have to say nothing because you know what's up i know what's up we know what's up and that's on way and that's on what that's on period and mary had a little lamb as y'all can see by the title of the video i'm going on a trip i'm going to el salvador currently i'm in houston texas i have a three-hour flight to el salvador i'm literally just going on a weekend trip y'all today is currently I think it's Friday and I come back on Tuesday. Today is the 28th. Yeah, I literally, I've been planning this trip for about a week now. I still got to book one of my accommodations. It's people, it's people coming over here, y'all. So I'm going to see y'all once I get to San Salvador. Hey y'all, so we just got the rental and it's been a journey already. We left the airport. I think we arrived, what did we arrived here? 4.30 technically. We, we arrived here at 4.30. It's 6.22 now. We're just now leaving the airport because we reserved a rental car at Avis. And then as we were given our paperwork, paid the deposit, paid the money for the rental car, the people end up telling us that the only rental car they had got in an accident. So we're not gonna be able to get a rental. They don't have no other rentals available. So we went to like, three or four different um, rental places at the airport. And it was this one rental place called Rent a Car. Uh, what was it? It was called just Rent a Car. It was literally called Rent It was rent just a car. called Rent a Car, <laughs> y'all. And uh, they got us. All I'm gonna say is they got us, but we literally didn't have no choice because we're staying in the Mandela Villas, which is like an hour away from San Salvador. So we definitely need a rental car. So we end up getting gas. But make sure y'all negotiate and um even if they tell you it's one price try to like fight it don't don't just go with the flow because i honestly feel like we got get and you can kind of tell the lady was lying and she was giving us a different price because she was talking real fast real happy like i don't know all i gotta say is we ready we ready we here we here we here we here you excited <laughs> also, I did want to let y'all know there is a, um, a tourist fee that you have to pay to enter El Salvador. It's not a visa fee. It's just a $12 entry fee if you're not from the country. And yeah, everything else was smooth. Other than that, we're about to go ahead and do this hour and 30 minute drive. And I'll see y'all when we get to the villa. I probably won't give y'all a tour of the villa tonight just simply because it's probably going to be like 7, 8 o'clock when we get there. So I'll give y'all a tour tomorrow. Let's go. Let's go. I be coming back to back, yeah. Play it by your neck, yeah. Say you arch your back, yeah. Say you shut your ass up. Hey y'all, it's much later now, and I just made it to the villa. Well. We didn't just make it to the villa. I made it to the villa about an hour ago. We ended up getting lost on the way here, but we finally made it and the place is absolutely beautiful. Um, there's like an outside shower. Like y'all, it looks better than the pictures. You ever go somewhere and you knew exactly how it looked because you booked it. But when you get there, it's just like, I don't know. It looked like you kind of just got to be here to see it. I'm going to give y'all a full tour tomorrow, but I did want to come on camera and show y'all my outfit. I met this girl earlier and she told us about this rooftop bar. So that's literally where we're going. Also, my Airbnb, well, this is a villa. My villa does not have a full body mirror. So it's really hard for me to really give y'all a little outfit of the night. But basically, I'm wearing this cute little sunset dress. Let me see if I come back here. So y'all can see me okay y'all can kind of see me but the dress literally goes all the way down to the floor and i have some sandals on and tonight we're doing natural face because it's literally so freaking hot here so freaking humid literally my back my back is sweating y'all and i just got out the shower like this is 
this is ridiculous i'm gonna have to go put on some more deodorant because it's just really really humid here so if you come here girl please wear braids don't do no lace don't do no don't do nothing just wear braids because it is hoop. let's see y'all once i get to the rooftop bar hopefully it's lit because today is friday and i'm not trying to waste no time i'm trying to get lit it's supposed to be like a vacation relaxing beach type of trip but y'all what i've been through to get to el salvador i'm just trying to have a good time trying to get some drinks going some music going and just you know be vibed up i was born by the river i was shaking and don't want to touch it too mm -mm -mm. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Simple price to keep them out my life. Booby trap, we need a business office. Magic City need a business office. 29, I keep a business office. I'm in love with Houston, Dallas, Austin. Tell your guys to hold up on a team chain. Seem like they made me money for coffins. Cuban girl, a fan of grind coffee. Text me on the signals, don't call me. Major distribution labels call me. Bad bunny numbers, this a robbery. 500 million just for Aubrey. Yeah. Major distribution, high popping. Mention me to be the hottest topic. Same place you sing your bitches shopping. Hey y'all, so I'm leaving the El Tunco strip. And we met so many people. We seen other black people and the other white people instantly became our cousin because we black, they black. So that's our cousin. And I'm telling this fool, I'm like, this our cousin. You're like, for real that? I'm like, no nigga, that's not our cousin. We only cousins. <laughs> We only cousins by our ancestors because I believe all black people are related. So anytime I go out the country and I see other black people, that's my cousin. So yeah, our cousins are back there. That's Vanessa and Sophia back there. Um, this was fun. You had fun? I had so much fun. The vibe was there, dancing. It was just, y'all, it was a good night. I'm probably about to go back home, take a shower, go to sleep. And then I'll see you guys in the morning. Day one of El Salvador was a success. Okay, where are we going? This is how I wanted to eat. Hello. You got basic bitch now. Basic hoe. <laughs> Doesn't the chicken look like so good? This look like something worthy to be waiting for an hour. We waited an hour. Yep. What, an you hour. Wait, what you waiting for? Show them. Hour. Show them what you waiting for. This is. <laughs> This is what y'all been waiting for. Wow, the cheese not even melted on this. Babe, you ordered this. I said I wanted a beef, and you said you wanted a hambasa. And this shit is not busting. today is officially day two in el salvador i literally just woke up and i'm excited y'all i woke up in a good mood but last night it was crazy so yesterday i met two girls at my villa that i think they're like literally the villa next door i'm seeing the villa three and i think they're in villa four met them last night we end up hanging out together all last night they have like beach clubs in el salvador so the first beach club we went to was bonita bonita beach club and then we went to what's the other beach club called bonita and what's the other beach club called tacos. taco cockles tacos. cockles we went to bonita and cockles both of those are a vibe they play like reggaeton music some american music and you can do like song requests 
the drinks was really good we ended up meeting some more black people there and you know anytime you out the country when black people see other black people they be like that's my cousin like that's my people so we were sitting down and some black people came to us and they were just like um y'all black we black come sit in our section so we partied with them all night and then after that we went to this restaurant like late last night i don't remember the name of it y'all but it wasn't to me it personally wasn't that good like the food in el salvador is like very natural very healthy you can tell they don't put like extra sugar it's not nasty but it's just it just tastes very clean and different from united states food but right now what we have planned for today we're literally checking out of this villa we're checking into an airbnb in the city and then we're what are we doing we're going to picnic steakhouse today and we're going to a few markets and we're just going to be doing sightseeing in the city and then on sunday we're coming back to this villa because I, I wanted the vacation to be like half touristy and then have like relaxing like i wanted to go out party club and then i don't know baby hey you're the problem no it's not that it's just awkward already talking to a camera and then talking to a camera with somebody in the room is even more awkward i think that's what it is or i can talk to a camera with people around people i don't know like i could be in the airport talking i don't care but it's because i know you that's why it's kind of weird who I know I could talk on the camera in front of people that I don't really know like that, but it was people that I know. I don't know why I just get shy. Like, I don't know. But anyway, y'all, today's plan we're going to Picnic Steakhouse and we're going to. That's honestly, oh, we're going to Picnic Steakhouse and then tonight we're going to Ciro and Chatas. Chatas is like a. Uh, Chatos. Chatos is a place where everything is like $1.50, drinks, um, food. I think they even have hookah there. It's like a little local type of club that I've seen in somebody's vlog. So we're going there and I'm sure y'all already know what Picnic Steakhouse is. That's the place with the rainbow slide. Also, if you do plan on staying at these villas, well actually I still have to give y'all an Airbnb tour, but this is the bay. It has this dream catcher. They have like dream catchers everywhere. It's just, y'all, it's real cute in here. I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna get up and get dressed and record the Airbnb tour. We'll eat breakfast, record the Airbnb tour, and then uh, we gonna head to the city. Cause like I said, we coming back to the villas. Borita, moera, I mean he got no borita. Coming back to back, yeah. Play it by your neck, yeah. Tell your arch your back, yeah. Tell you to shut your ass up. Rushing here real fast just to take it slow. You know I ate these heads of hoes before you let me know. Y'all, so this is the entrance to my villa. They have a garden view over there, but we decided to get a pond view, aka lake view. And then tomorrow we're switching over to the garden view. So this is how the outside looks. We stayed in villa number three. So definitely stay here for good luck. So you enter through, through this way. This is the bed. They have all of these windows in here. You can definitely let these down for privacy has an AC in there, has an air conditioner that goes off like every five minutes and it has like a fragrance coming out of it. Over here is the desk area. They did give us complimentary water and some, I'm assuming these are chips y'all. Um, you can control the air this way. I didn't even realize there was a TV in here, but here's a remote. They tell you about the check-in, check-out. Um, yeah, this is just a little cute desk area. This is the bed and they have this dream catcher, dream catcher theme going on all throughout the villas. This bed was really, really nice and comfortable. If you would like, you can open these up, but at nighttime, just so bugs and nets don't bite you, you would just snap, close those. If you head over here, there's more windows. Also, they give you information like for, if you have an emergency, they give you all of this information here. That's the police. Uh, that's the hospital, the ambulance, all this information they give you on the villa. Come over here. This is what controls the lights. I believe there's like four different lights in here. And if you come over here, this is another view. You can open this up and it's basically just, uh, oh, they're gonna turtle y'all. Look at the turtle. 
Look at the turtle. Hi. 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 Y'all, look, he's saying hi. Hi. Turtle right here. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know we had this. OMG. We have a little outside sitting area. We literally did not know that we had this. This is super duper cute, y'all. I'm gonna come back in here. The bed's right here to the right. Hold on, let me close this so we don't let bugs in. Okay, so to the right, here is the bathroom. This is where the towels and the washcloths were down here. And then they have hangers right here. This is where you control the lights in the bathroom. You come over here. This is the sink area. So it's giving like cabin vibes in here. Y'all, that's me. This honestly is the, the worst thing about this hotel. They do not have a full body mirror. This is literally the only mirror that I've seen throughout the entire villa. The toilet is over here. They just basically tell you to watch how much water you use because it's not your house. You come out here. This is the outside shower, which was so freaking nice. They do have warm to hot water shower right here. That's the shower head. It came with shampoo, conditioner, and not the, the cheap kind, y'all. They gave us the expensive kind, the Keratin shampoo and conditioner. Over here, it just tells you how to work the water on and off. And yeah, this is pretty much the villa, y'all. We're getting ready to head out and go to our Airbnb where we're going to Picnic Steakhouse. Oh, also it comes with a safe. So if you don't want to leave your personal items, they have a safe right there for y'all. But yeah, y'all, we're getting ready to go to Picnic Steakhouse. And then we're going to check into the Airbnb. And then we're going clubbing tonight. So yeah, I'll see y'all in a little bit. And don't ask me why I'm breathing heavy because it's hot as hell here. So here that's the stink ass hole i met yesterday <laughs> nicole, Bitch, do not call me nicole. <laughs> vanessa <laughs> you look vanessa. cute <laughs> you look like a vanessa this is hella cute it looks like you can probably can't go up there hello Oh, it says right there. That's where you take a photo at. Y'all, they have the park for the kids. A little picnic table right there. This is the rest of the resort. You can come up here and do work. Table, pools over there. Super nice. Hi. 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 You gotta talk to him soft. Where he want to be our friend? Oh, he's tied up. Yeah. Hi. 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 Do it so. Spill it out of thought we do it reckless. Your nigga called us texting. You said, baby, don't be mad. You know how great it is. Come up in your mouth. So we just left picnic table. Look at me being fake. I can't even do this. All pictures are in. <laughs> hey y'all, we just left picnic steakhouse and the food was good. This is um Vanessa that I told y'all about oh in China God. yesterday that we met. Hey. Um tell them how y'all feel. I my food was good. Oh, you didn't really like your food, so we shouldn't be good. Why? No, I like mm -hmm. my food. Okay. But I just feel like the temperature just wasn't correct. Yeah, so That's you good order it. Right. The, the you water 
wet, medium well. well, and it was like real kind of like well, still bread. well it was, yeah. yeah, yeah. How was your food? Um, my food was cold, so I really wasn't enjoying it as much. But like, kind of to her point, I asked for medium well, and it was too much medium. So too you see how like I didn't really eat that part. But yeah. coffee was great. Desserts was really the good. The dessert was really good. Can't Recommend getting the cheesecake, the chocolate the, cake. The what is that? Sodas. Um, yeah. The, really what is that? The milk cake? Noches? Look at that part. Noches. Noches. Yeah, it was good. There. Yeah. They so, have chocolate cake, but it really is a brownie. Yeah. But it was good because it has a little hint of lime on top. Mm -hmm. I think it's at that flavor. Yeah. Oh, so good. And the like prices were kind of affordable. They were like yeah, regular yeah. prices. I think my burger was like $10. Yeah. So that wasn't bad. Right now we're on our way to the market. And then we're going to go back to the Airbnb. Check in for a little bit. Go to sleep. And then we're going out tonight. Where are we going? Well, the, the rooftop. rooftop. That's all we going to all oh, three. No, circle and circle uh, oh, and I shot think this. we should go to circle, circle first so we can get drunk because that's where they had a dollar fifty shots oh, and then we yeah. should do the that's other way. Circle has a dollar fifty. Chacos, yeah, chacos. Then... Whatever else, oh, okay. it doesn't really matter. But okay. I think we should oh, go there first. Yeah. yeah. We outside. We outside yeah. That's crazy because this vacation was really supposed to be like a chill, relaxed <laughs> vacation on the beach, just you know vibes, and it ended up turning into. Turn up, turn up. And I didn't even know they had a knife knife here like this, which is crazy. Okay, y'all, this is the kitchen right here. Here's the refrigerator. Nice. They have a freezer. Oh, they had, they look like people was living here. They still have the water in there. Microwave. The oven. Fully equipped. They have utensils in here. Pots, pans. Really modern and updated kitchen. If you come over here, this is the island has the Wi-Fi right here. He left us some snacks. Um, what is this? Okay, that's just extra storage. A junk drawer. <laughs> Come over here. This is the living room. This is honestly the best part with the view. I'm gonna show y'all the view in the morning, but we just got here and this is basically how it looks. You come out here, here's the balcony. Oh, you can kind of see the view on camera out here. No, you can definitely see it. Wow. This is the view. This is the patio. That's Vanessa right there. <laughs> little table. Well little. Part. You might as well. No, she look like a Vanessa, y'all. <laughs> no. Yeah. I look like a cat. A cat, Vanessa. Here's the dining table right here. You come through this way. This is the hallway. They have a little entry table right here. Also, you can do Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, Disney. This is the first room right here. Really nice. It's like a full size bed. Here's the closet. We just got here, but we already started putting our stuff up. This is the second bedroom. If you come over here, here is the baños, the bathroom. I look a mess, so I'm not gonna get in the camera, but here's 
a mirror, the shower, everything's really updated. Very modern and nice. It's actually look new, y'all. Stuff still has plastic in it. If you come over here, this is the clean room. This is my room. Really nice room. I think this is like a full size bed, right? Is this queen? This is a queen. Like queen. queen size bed. Over here to the right, this is the master bed bedroom, so it has the bathroom and the room. Nice shower, now shower head. The toilet counter again. Mirror. If you come over here, this is the walk-in closet. This is super nice, and we literally only have this Airbnb for one night, y'all. So it's kind of crazy that we got all this room just for one night. But that is an overview of the closet. If you come over here, it has a TV. It has a massage chair. We're definitely using this tonight. This is crazy. I never seen an Airbnb come with a massage chair. And then we also have our own balcony. Where's the light for this? Hold on, let me turn on the light. Where's the light? Is it that? Hold on. Oh, okay, y'all. Here is our balcony. We have a mini balcony over here and you can see the views. Hey, hoes. <laughs> They're right over there. You can see it. So this is literally a overview of the room, y'all. Hey y'all, so we're getting ready to go. Just checking in with the vlog to show y'all what I'm wearing. I have this brown dress on from, I believe I got this from either Pretty Little Things or Tim U. And I just have some slides. It has this nice little slit. Real sexy. I'm honestly tired, y'all. I've been up since like 6 a.m. this morning. We're supposed to be taking it out. We end up just chopping it up, talking the entire time. Now it's time for us to go. But yeah, I'll see y'all once we get to the first slot. We're going to Chata's the rooftop and then a circle circle bar yeah wake up e. wake up buttercup wake up buttercup buttercup wake up it's time now it's time to go to testify come up in the spot looking extra fly for the day i die i'ma touch the sky Gotta testify. Come up in the spot looking extra fly. For the day I die, I'ma touch the sky. Y'all, we literally stay up the entire night just talking to these two bum ass bitches from the Bronx. It's from the Bronx? Don't play with me, baby. I'm gonna see before I say something crazy. <laughs> you know where I'm from. Don't play with me. You heard what I said? What's good? All right, so what happened? What's good? What happened? What's good? You're gonna turn that camera over here. <laughs> I hate her. But we literally about to go to sleep. Um, This day is going to be interesting. Real interesting. I'm tired. My eyes heavy. What time is it? It's six now? This is crazy. Well, it's crazy for y'all. Y'all have to literally get up and like, does your driver have to come at nine? He's going out of but yeah y'all i'm about to go to sleep and i'll probably wake up probably 12 now i look cute in the camera because mm -hmm. i can't see yeah you look cute is my lace showing it's her lace showing y'all 
Hey. She don't know how to act. I don't know how y'all be really just subscribing to her. What you mean? You have to see her, her inner personality. They see the energy. They know what the vibe is, so they subscribe. Really? Yeah. I don't wonder why you're bashing me because I'm talking about behind Team Asia. Oh my gosh, people are going to bash you <laughs> anyway. <laughs> But good night, y'all. We're about to go to bed. Well, y'all have to get up. You can end it. What's good? What's up, Bumble? What is wrong with you? Go to so sleep. What you about bum no, I'm not doing this. I love no. my New York followers. Okay. All the bitches from New York are bad. I love New York bitches. The energy, the vibes. It's only two bitches that I don't fuck with in New York, and that's Ooh. you. That's you. Really? It is. You know what's crazy? What's crazy? Yeah, um, fellow subscriber, whatever y'all call it, the content. What? She has it in, in, in her um. No, you are not. Area. I don't know this bitch. <laughs> I, I mean, I do know. <laughs> Watch, they gonna be like you. Good morning, y'all. Today is officially day three, and oh, it's day three. Yeah, it's day three. Is it day three already? I don't know. Y'all, today is day three in El Salvador. We got here Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, today so, is day, day three. three. And literally last night we went to bed at 5 a.m. So six, I went to bed at 6 a.m. He went to bed at 5 a.m. We were supposed to check out of the Airbnb at 1 o'clock. We didn't wake up till 129. So we barely made it out of the Airbnb. And last night, where did we go? We tried to go to Chata's, but Chata's, Chata's was packed. Chata's. Chata's. Mm -hmm. You, you do that every time. We tried to go to Chato's. So if you come to El Salvador and you're trying to go to Chato's, it's best to kind of go there early. I think we arrived like at 10-ish, 11 o'clock, and they weren't letting nobody else in. It was really packed. So if you're trying to come here, make sure you come here like maybe 8, definitely if it's like on a Saturday or Sunday because it gets super busy. Um, so right now, I did want to try Chato's before I left because we're leaving the city today. So we're at Chato's right now. We're gonna go and have breakfast here. And then after that, we're going to Naui um, Beach House. And yeah, y'all, literally didn't get no sleep. Didn't have time to do my hair, put on my clothes. I, we literally just had to wake up and go. So I'm gonna try to do my makeup in the car on my way to Naui Beach House. But yeah, just checking in with the vlog. I'll talk to y'all once I leave out of here. Okay, y'all, so we have another villa. We're back at the Mandela Eco Villas, but this is the family one. So yesterday we was at the single person villa and today is the family one. So don't mind that, we just got here. I just put that there, but they have this little lounge seating area. There's the menu, the kitchen. Breakfast is from eight to 11, and then the kitchen does close early here. The kitchen closes at, I think she said 7 p.m. So you gotta put your order in by seven and it closes at eight. Here's the beds. Over here they have a little chair. Um, if you come over here, what is this? Oh, for you to put your clothes? Okay. Oh, it's a little vanity. Okay, they have a little vanity right here. Okay, girl. Vanity. They gave us some free water, some chips. And then this is the bathroom. I'm not gonna hold you. I do miss the outside shower instead of this. Oh, this is still nice. Look at the floor. Yeah. It's still nice and it's still modern. But yeah, this is the- Seeing you got ritualistic. Cleansing my soul of addiction for now cause I'm falling apart. Yep. Tension between us just like big defenses. You got issues that I won't mention for now Cause we're falling apart Passionate from miles away Passive with the things you say Passing up on my own ways I can't blame you Passionate 
light from miles away. Passive with the things you say. Passing up on my own. Hey y'all, so we're leaving Maui Beach House and unfortunately we came here too late. It's definitely a vibe, but we really didn't get to see the beauty at Maui just because we got here like at, was it 6 o'clock? I think it was like 6 o'clock. 6.30. Yeah, it was 6.30. The sun had already set. So we really didn't get to see what we needed to see. So we're going to come back to Maui tomorrow. And then tomorrow's our last full day in El Salvador. So we're planning on having a chill day, maybe a beach get a massage, you know, relax. Tonight, we was gonna go back to Bonita, not Bonita, yeah, Bonita, the beach houses, but instead, we decided to do, oh, you wanna put it in the trunk? Yeah. But instead, we decided to do El Tonko. El Tonko is like the surf town. They have beaches over there. You can literally go surfing, you can go to the beach at night and drink a beer and tonight we just gonna walk out and chill like we a local have a beer and go to the beach and just sit and talk and it is a it's a it's a it's a 20 dollar charge if you book it online to go to naui and it's a 15 dollar charge if you book it ahead no actually they updated the price so it's 20 dollars to go to naui if you book it in advance and if you book it not in advance you just do a walk-in then it's 25 dollars, and then you can also book a cabana for a minimum of a hundred dollars but it goes towards your it goes towards your your day bed you can also get a section there they have bottles the food was really really good i had shrimp potatoes and veggies and it was good he had steak veggies and what else did you have steak veggies and tacos. and tacos yeah we both had tacos it was really really good yeah, yeah. definitely would recommend it um the prices are like u.s prices it's not super cheap at naui but it's still affordable for the price of we had two meals six tacos two meals each low key two meals each yeah because you got tacos plus you got your shrimp well i'm saying we had two meals and then six tacos and then we had yeah, meals, tacos, four yeah. We got a two free welcome drinks, and then we had four two other drinks. What was the other one? Well, four, four drinks, four drinks. Yeah, we had no, we had six drinks in total. Did we? Seven technically. Oh, we had oh seven drinks in total for the price of a hundred dollars. So that's not bad. But like I said, we was only here for about two to three hours. So we're gonna come back here tomorrow and i want us to go to the rainfall but we're gonna play it by ear y'all i'm gonna go home we're actually we're heading over to el tonko i already have on my swimsuit we're going to el tonko now and then after el tonko we're going home and then tomorrow is like a chill type of day because this was really supposed to be a vacation but it kind of ended up turning into a turn up party 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 type of trip so yeah So we just left La Cato. Oh, El. Caco. <laughs> we just left El Caco and we had a good night. Um, it was a vibe there. We went today on Sunday. So if y'all do come to El Salvador, just go to El Tonco. And Tonto. you don't have to correct me on everything. Sorry. He's <sighs> been trying to show me out this entire trip. <laughs> but Y'all know what I mean. I'm gonna put the name of the beach club there. I honestly would recommend it. The music is good. The vibe is good. The drinks, they were kind of strong. Yeah, the drinks are not bad. And they're reasonable. They're, they're priced like normal US prices, not too expensive, not too cheap. Um, the only problem that we had today is it, we're, we're literally on the beach. This is a beach town. And we weren't the only black people there, but we probably was like, total throughout the whole club, it probably was only like six, no four okay maybe no no six, okay six, six. max six black people there and at the time when we were in there we honestly only seen 
three or four. Zero. We seen the two girls, our cousins, oh, and yeah. then we seen the two black, the two guys. They was black, mm -hmm. so we seen four black people there. And literally, we were waiting in line, and they're letting everybody through. And then when it's time for us to go through, they're telling us it's five dollars to get in, but they're saying they won't let him in because he don't have on a shirt. And we're literally at the beach, like you can turn around, and the beach is behind you. And then we see white people in there, Hispanic people in there without a shirt on. So we get and skip, and then finally, I ask like, why we can't get in? And he's just like. He basically needs a shirt and eventually they pressed us because they knew it was balarkey like it was bullshit but that's the only little racism moment that i felt like i felt here but everything else has been fine like the people at our villa been nice the people in the club have been nice and yeah so right now we're back at the hotel we're getting ready to go skinny dipping and then we're gonna call it a night yeah how do you feel about l Tunko? No. Well, yeah, El Tunko. Oh, El Salvador in general? No, El Tunko. Uh, El Tunko was pretty dope. Uh, I mean, we could have gotten here early, but it is what it is. We still had fun time. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm sorry, baby. But also, on sa Saturday, it wasn't a door charge on Saturday. No, it wasn't a door charge. I feel like I'm having deja vu Saturday. right now. Saturday, it wasn't a door charge, but on Sunday, they do charge at um they probably charge at both no they didn't charge did we walk we walked in la bonita and they didn't charge us did we walk in all the way i think we did walk in la bonita and Caucus, they charge Caucus? five dollars yeah. to enter it but you don't honestly you don't even have to go in they have other clubs there that you can just walk in for free and yeah you can honestly just sit on the beach drink talk it was it's cool it's just a vibe but i'm talking too much y'all i've been talking for three minutes so i'm gonna check in with y'all tomorrow Gotta secure the lace. But hey y'all, we just got done eating breakfast and taking pictures. It's going on 12 o'clock now. And what are we about to do? We about to go to Nowy Beach House. Nowy Beach House is like an hour from here. That's one thing about El Salvador. Everything is super far. Like from the city to if you want to do like hot springs and I think ACVs, that's like two hours away. If you want to do the picnic slide, that's two hours away from the ACV and Hot Springs. And if you want to stay like on the coast at like a beachy type of resort, that's an hour away from the city and two to three hours away from the volcano, which is where the Hot Springs is at. And then Nawi is literally an hour from us, although it's on the coast. So if you come here, you definitely need to get a rental because this is ridiculous like they said the girls that we met here they're actually leaving today and they said that it cost them 165 dollars to go from i'm gonna put the name of the city right here i don't i don't want to um, butcher the name y'all i don't know how to pronounce it but to go to this area which is where the hot springs at they were charged 165 for i think it was a round trip but that's still od like that's crazy od but yeah, I will see y'all in a little bit. If you're watching this, go to my Instagram. Because by the time I put this up, y'all should have seen these pictures. Go to my Instagram and like these pictures. See your girl with sweat and bullet holes. See get these pictures because it's literally hot. Like as soon as you step outside, lace lifted, armpit sweating. Like this is a vacation that you definitely need. Or this is a location that you definitely need to wear braids. Because baby, it's too much. But I think I got... I don't know y'all, I think I got something, a little something, something, something. Go to my gram and like these pictures. I look good. I look real good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Amy, you ready? Yeah, I was waiting. Oh, okay. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all once we get to Nally. She, she gave me more money back. Okay, y'all, so we've been spending a lot of money here simply just on, like, drinking out at clubs and spots and stuff. So instead, we decided to go to the, uh, what is that? Oh, 
Instead, we decided to go to the gas station to get liquor and drinks instead of spending so much money at Nawi. And literally, all of this was twelve dollars. What is this would be? Mm. I don't know what this. Oh, this is a Guatemala rum. I think it's Rundi. This it's is wine. Uh, I don't it could know, be but, but we got this right price here. Price price price. Yeah, I don't know. You didn't see the that puff friend? I can see that exactly. This one's hard, baby. This the other one. This the other one. I, this is really breaking hard. This might be stale. We got okay. these. What is these? Pandose, Katito, cake, cake, uh, vanilla. vanilla. So like vanilla. Okay. Got that right here. Got these right here. These are some odd looking snacks. This right here. What? I gotta. I gotta. Where is the bread? It's all bread. You this know what's right on here? here? And then we got this, y'all, all for twelve dollars. So go to the gas stations if y'all come to El Salvador. Cause I'm not even a heavy drinker. I feel like this will get me. This will give me a little buzz. Yeah, no, this going to hit. I wish you would have got me something like, I don't know. No, no bread. That's yeah, bread. you're right. Like, All right, y'all. We on our way to now. We now. We'll I'm so groovy. I am. I am. No, 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 okay. I'm so groovy. I got power. I'm so groovy. I got power. I just bought I'm so groovy. I got power. I'm so groovy. I got power. That's your bitch. I just bought it. Oh, that's your bitch. I just bought it. Perks of my life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's fuck. Crab. Oh, 